Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Audrey if you're new here. Gonna do a little video that I have never really done before. I've done hauls and I've done pack with me videos for travels, but I decided just to kind of do a outfit lookbook for my Europe trip. I am currently packing right now and one of my favorite things to do is just try on all my outfits, especially when I'm going on such a long trip, which I'll talk about the trip details in a second. So I thought if I'm trying on all my outfits anyways, I might as well show y'all and kind of walk through some of my outfit picks. I'm going to be gone for, I think, almost 14 days. I like <sighs> our itinerary is so much that I forget. Yeah, a total of 14 days. I live in Austin right now. I'm driving to Houston tomorrow to fly out of Houston on Sunday morning to New York City. We're spending one night there. We, as in, I'm going with my future New York City roommate and college friend Lauren Shordock. We are going to spend like the 24 hours on our first trip to New York searching for neighborhoods that we wanna live in and look for apartments in. Then we fly from New York City to London, then straight to Paris for three nights in Paris. Then fly to Lisbon for three nights in Lisbon when we are also going to see Taylor Swift in the Eras tour. I am just in disbelief <laughs> that that's happening. Three nights there and then ending in London, three nights in London before we fly back to New York for about three nights in New York, just completely apartment shopping and going around the city and trying to find a place to live. It's a lot of all over the place, lots of walking, going to a concert. I've never been to any of those places in Europe and so I'm very excited. It is the end of May, so it is going to be a little bit chilly, but I also want like cute summer outfits, so a little part of me is just, I don't know, going to freeze, um, but I'm trying to be a little practical, and then also I am going to check a bag. I was really in between carrying on or checking, and we're just going to be gone for so long, and I don't want to sacrifice my outfits. I feel the most prepared for any trip for outfits. I already have one of the outfits on. going to put some accessories on. I'm not going in any particular order and I don't necessarily exactly know what I'm wearing each outfit to, but this is definitely, <laughs> this is definitely my favorite. Y'all haven't even seen what this outfit looks like, but like, are you kidding me? I've had this scarf like ever since high school and I've been waiting for this moment. It's from Princess Polly. Then these sunglasses I just got as a graduation gift from all of her people. And as soon as I got them, I was like, these are gonna be perfect in Europe with a headscarf and here I am. Then for the actual outfit, we have this gorgeous jumpsuit. It's Pilcro, so it's the most comfortable thing. It's from Anthropology. I actually rented it from Newly, and so it's like a clothing subscription thing which I really love for events like this but this came with the tags on I got a size 4 and I honestly might keep it if I like it because it's just it's so comfortable and look how cute this is um, and then I'm wearing my Tory Burch sneakers which, like seriously I'm obsessed I feel like should I take these should I take the purses down so y'all can see the full outfit maybe I will Again, I've never really done a video like this. Yeah, I feel like this gives a better full look. Okay. Eee! I'm just so excited for all these. Okay. I have like 10, I think, outfits that I'm going to show y'all. And this is just all going to go in my suitcase. Next, my new favorite staple in my closet, this Reformation dress. It just is the perfect little black dress. Reformation has the best quality stuff too. So it is something I like to splurge on. I just feel like the neckline's really pretty. I'm gonna wear it with sneakers, probably. I also might bring, well probably, we'll bring these boots so I could dress it up to layer some options. I have this little linen, little jacket from Sanctuary. I can roll up the sleeves. Took this to my trip to Spain last year and loved it just because it's light, it's cute, it goes with a lot of stuff, and then I also can do a little tie moment, so love this. Then if it's a little cooler, I got this blazer also from Newly. It's Avec Les Filles, that's how you say it, but 
think this will kind of dress up a lot of my outfits. It's just a fun leather sleeved blazer. And yeah, I think I like this. This will be on the like cooler days. I have more outfits that will go under this. I think I'm gonna like my other outfits that I have planned with this blazer, but this works. This is the other outfit in question. Matching white set that's actually technically not matching, but love this. And I paired it with these boots. Not sure if I like that. It'll be kind of a game time decision. But this jacket is really warm, and so I feel like it kind of balances out for weather if it is a cold day, even though I'm wearing shorts. Like I said, technically isn't a matching set. This top is from Abercrombie & Fitch, and then these shorts are new from Anthropology. They are just so comfortable. You can see the top is kind of tweed, and I have matching shorts, but these are just more versatile to go with more stuff that I'm packing. So I'm hoping I won't be too freezing <laughs> and can wear this. Then I have some other casual tops sprinkled in. I mean, this isn't a casual shop for me. This is from Reformation, but to kind of pair with these shorts, this to me is probably more of a New York outfit, just walking around the city and stuff, especially if it's on the warmer side. I'm being honest, I'm kind of being negligent to looking at the weather. I just almost don't want to know. <laughs> Another piece that I think will go with a lot, obviously it's just this long white skirt. And this will also be good for if it is on the cooler side, but still gives summer vibes. It's this double lined skirt from Brandy Melville. Um, probably would wear it with sneakers. Right now I have it paired with this red reformation top, but this top really is the star of the wardrobe. Just recently got it. I haven't worn it yet. I'm waiting to debut it <laughs> in Europe. No, actually I just recently got it and I just haven't had the chance to wear it. It's from Reformation, probably one of the most expensive tops I own, but the detailing is just gorgeous. It has kind of lace little details at the top. It's super comfortable in the back, and I just think it's really flattering. I could wear it with this skirt, even though this probably isn't my most favorite combo, especially with these shoes. I should probably just, I'm just gonna switch out of. I think this skirt looks cuter with these shoes. Which also if you're looking at these shoes, they're really dirty and I'm going to if I have time wipe them with a little cloth But there's this again if I'm cold Since these are all kind of pure whites, I can have this along with it paired it with jeans This top is just perfect with the blues. These are my favorite go-to jeans They are from Revolve. They're lovers and friends had them for about two years now and I just haven't had a more comfortable pair so these are my go-to. I will show y'all kind of my travel outfit at the end but this I can definitely wear on a plane. Not for the long haul flight but definitely the little flights in between. They're that comfortable. Then I have this little Brandy Melville tee for when I'm just walking around New York or if I want like a chill little outfit. Then this little green top. This I recently got from Princess Polly. I've been loving kind of strapless tube tops just to throw on in the summer. Um, also tops like this take up like a very minuscule amount in my suitcase and so it really costs nothing to me to bring this in case I want to wear it one day with these jeans or starting to get into the tailor outfit. I have this little lace ruffle black skirt. It's actually kind of a skirt, like not from the outside, but it has shorts underneath. So comfortable. Got this from Revolve also like two years ago. I wear it all the time. It comes with a little strap that I could do a bow, but with a bow here, I don't usually do it when I wear this top, but it's from Revolve Lovers and Friends. So comfortable. Then for my tailor outfit, okay, still a work in progress. I have been to the Eras Tour before a couple times. I've vlogged it every time in the past. I have made a whole Shake It Off cheerleading costume, loved that one. Also did a lover outfit and then a 1989 Grammys look. And so I wasn't like that committed to going full on costume this time, especially because I'm traveling so far to see her. Lauren and I really wanted to do something from Tortured Poets Department um, since it just came out. And so we decided just to get white shirts and then we cut out with my Cricut lyrics in the TTPD font. We're literally ironing them tomorrow night. And so that's why 
there's no words on this right now cut out a few i don't know which one i'm gonna use i have heroin with an e from the alchemy i have a cry a lot but i'm so productive possibly on the back they say fake it till you make it and I did on the back. Lauren is like going into finance and so I printed her one that said um, a poet trapped in the body of a finance girl and instead of a poet trapped in the body of a finance boy which is from I hate it here. I think that's all of it. Maybe I printed I can fix him. No really I can. We kind of went through a lot of different ones and we like couldn't decide what we wanted to do. This top is from Target. It's Wild Fable and it was literally five dollars so that was perfect. But the most insane aspect of this outfit that I'm doing that's so unnecessary and extra is my shoes. And yes I am bringing white cowboy boots to Europe for my Eras Tour outfit. And I have kind of a good reasoning fine reasoning basically as I mentioned I'm moving to New York from Texas and I have three pairs of cowboy boots I will probably never wear cowboy boots often enough again for me to have three pairs but these are from Princess Polly bought them this past year for sorority recruitment so they're very comfortable I stood in them all day long for like over 12 hours and when I was thinking about what I wanted to wear to the concert we have general admission tickets so any shoes that I wear I feel like are possibly going to get trashed just because I'm gonna be in kind of a pit environment didn't necessarily want to wear my sneakers even though I could and I was going to donate these boots and they really do like fold up very nicely I'm going to show y'all they're not going to take up that much space in my suitcase me i'm just basically justifying my decision on this anyways so i decided i should use one last go around with these have them perfect my outfit i know i can stand in them i know i can dance in them all night they're just so comfortable and then there is a very 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 high chance that i leave them in lisbon donate them leave them at the hotel something to either open up space in my suitcase to shop or just to be lighter. Honestly, these are very light. Like, they're not, like, super high-quality cowboy boots. So that's why I'm taking them. Because Okay, what else? Moving on to dresses. This one is from Free People. I actually have worn this dress in a different color on my last Europe trip. It was perfect. Then my friend has it in another color, and I've worn it before. And so doing it in... <laughs> One of the last colors that I haven't worn yet. This is just the best like twirling dress. It's actually pretty thick so it's pretty warm. We're going to afternoon tea in London so I'm thinking possibly wearing this. It's just this dress makes me happy in the bows and everything. I love. I can't decide if I'm going to take these sandals or maybe a pair of heels. I'm thinking these sandals will go well. These are from Steve Madden. Okay, then last little dinner dress. I actually found this at Target when I was searching for my white tee for the Air Store outfit. And it's also from Wild Fable. Don't really have a jacket to go with it. That's the only thing that doesn't make it perfect. It has lace detailing. Also, this is silk. So again, like very small real estate in my suitcase. It folds up super small. So if I don't wear it, it's okay. One last possible dinner outfit that I might throw in is this dress from Princess Polly. And then maybe with black tights. <sighs> I don't know. Um, this towards the end is like the stuff I haven't really thought through as much. Some last things. My airport fit. I have Lulu Align leggings and a scuba. I also just get so cold and so I kind of want a sweatshirt for when I'm in the hotel and just when I'm traveling. I'm bringing this swimsuit from LPA from Revolve. This is like so good. I love this one. We're taking a surfing lesson in Lisbon. So, oh, and then I'm bringing just my little Target PJ set for PJs. But yeah, that's basically all of the clothes that I'm bringing to Europe. And then I'll bring all my favorite jewelry and all my toiletries and other travel necessities. I'll post kind of my travel lists. They're on my Amazon storefront. I'll post some on my blog and just I'm always posting links and stuff on my Instagram stories. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to vlog the Ares tour. I'm going to vlog each city. Um, I'm also going to vlog New York apartment hunting. So lots of content coming your way. 
and also just go follow me on instagram for real-time updates because i am obsessed with posting on my story we'll try to also link as much of these clothes below as possible thank you guys so much for watching and for making it to this part of the video comment what outfit is your favorite and if you have any recs for me i love you all so much and i'll see you in my next video